Hi there, it's Salma from Creative S and welcome to our first Smart Images short guide. So as you know, images are reinforcing elements to text. And the good thing within Confluence is that you can put as many images as you want, of course, and you can even change the size of the image, you can change the place of the image, um, whether it's like align it on the left side, center it, so it's up to you. But what if I told you that you can create sliders and galleries within the Confluence page? So to do that, you need to go to the marketplace and install smart images for Confluence. It's an all one image toolkit and it has all the options that you need to edit images, add image maps, add sliders, galleries, everything you want. So after installing smart images, and of course, take into consideration that it's free for up to 10 users, the first uh, important step in smart images is that you need to have your Confluence page published before starting to use smart images. So in my case, the page is already published. So I can search for smart images with the slash command. So I have two options. Either you can drag and drop the images or just click on select files. So I'm here, I'm going to select the files I want. Click on add and there we go. So in smart images, you can change the title of the image from here and to choose whether you want slider or gallery, you can just click here. So from here, you can change the display, which is, for example, in this case, I'm going to choose a slider. Um, you can choose uh, the skin color. So I know a lot of you are a fan of the dark mode, so you can choose dark, for example. Um, you can choose if you want it visible nearby or not, to show the titles if they are important in your use case. You can choose the navigation, um, adjust the sizing, whether it's responsive or you can customize it. And after finishing all this, you can just click on save, publish the page, and it's all done. So here is our slider. And if you want it on full screen, you can click on the full screen mode. And there you go. I hope you liked this feature about smart images and wait for more short guides.